you see, there are two, several things uh, people need to realize. Uh, first, any uh, imperial force, west, east, or any, uh, or center, any imperialist force from whatever background they come, they come, they invest in a small group with grievances. And they become, the small group becomes the vehicle of their intrusion into the society. And the Northern Alliance was indeed <coughs> such a group. Uh, the people tend to focus on Taliban, evil, Taliban, evil, Taliban, evil. People f seem to have forgotten what was going on before Taliban. And Kabul was divided into more than 40 different zones. And if you had to go from one zone to another, you had to read your prayer because the likelihood of you returning alive was very dim. And hundreds of women disappeared, got raped by these, uh, the, these criminals. Hundreds of people were uh, actually taken to, you know, those, there are huge, uh, you know, we call it brick stoves, you know, where you take these stoves, you, uh, uh, you know, you cook ovens, ovens, I mean, huge ovens, brick ovens. Uh, that's for construction uh, purposes, that are in the uh, southwestern part of Kabul. Many people in the hundreds were actually commandeered alive into these ovens and burned beyond recognition, of course. And, you know, when I did my second MA, my thesis paper was on the method of killing in Kabul. They used to kill a person, uh, these warlords, chop their head off, they would take a cloth, shove it in the person's uh, neck and leave the body. The body would swirl. They would call it dance of the dead. These were the method. The Taliban didn't just fall from the sky. They are the people of Afghanistan. As to why they are conservative, they, are, they have very narrow, limited view of the world. Of course, what do you expect? They were brought up in refugee camps. They had no uh, world view, well, unshown beyond the refugee camps. They lived in their minute, small villages. Their entire world view of education was confined to their own small mosque. At, as if this was not enough, then you had to come also bomb them and kill them. So when they came, you know, people like me who are Western educated and have seen the good lives, so we ran. We let these simple people and they say, okay, run Afghanistan. You can let a people whose worldview does not go beyond the simple mosque of the village to run a country. They don't know how. So the Western educated and the, and the intelligentsia and the intellectuals abandoned them. What do you expect? That's all they know. So when the Americans invaded, I remember, uh, you remember, you probably remember that there was a big hoopla about Operation Anaconda uh, in 2002. Operation Anaconda, Operation Anaconda made a huge fuss out of it, and they had thousands of forces attacked this one area called Shai Court uh, in uh, southeastern Afghanistan. The Taliban former commander, who was his name was uh, Saifur Rahman Mansur, he was he had a seminary there. He sent a couple of his envoy to the U.S. base there. Said, look. Don't touch us, we don't touch you. We have a seminary here, please do not intervene in our affairs. You just do whatever you want. Whatever we made a mistake or you did a mistake, it's over, it's, it's a done, done with. The following or the couple of days following that uh, emissary, they went and bombed that uh, seminary. When they bombed that seminary, he said, you made a mistake. And that was indeed so. 120 Afghan fighters, along with, I think about 100 or so Uzbek fighters, they went to the Shai Kot area. This war went for about two weeks, I believe. Uh, and, you know, I went step by step inside that, uh, that, that, you know, interviewed actual combatants and so forth. At the end of the day, the report was done that seven U.S. soldiers had lost their life in three Chinook helicopters were shot down. This is the military fella. A Chinook helicopter doesn't fly empty. A Chinook helicopter they usually have 30 individuals on them. And, and, and when I uh, uh, investigated, 16 helicopters were shot down in, in, in this two-week period. 186 American soldiers lost their life. With Canadian, with British, all together with Americans, 226 soldiers lost their lives. This, was, I mean, this is a glimpse into the truth of how the military hides the truth. Another example I'll give you, about, about two months ago, there was a special op uh, uh, the forward operating base uh, in Maidan, Wardak province, and the truck bomb actually attacked it. The entire base was completely incinerated. And they said 87 people were wounded. When I found out, I have a friend, a friend of a friend of mine who happens to be a translator. I strongly condemn that, but nonetheless, 
for information purposes, it was good. He just returned, he, at that time, uh, he came for vacation to Chicago. Information that I obtained and information that I have collected from him. And I told him, what do you think about the 87 wounded? He started laughing loud. I told him, why are you laughing? I think, are you kidding me? He was translator, but he was also sonographer. He ended up working in the hospital. He said, forget it, man. There was no wounded. Helicopter of full of dead were landing until, until later that day. Altogether, 110 soldiers were killed and 90-something and were wounded. So this is, of course, the truth factor. Now, 